Hey everyone, it's ADS Diecast here with another video. Today we're going to be looking at Vintage Ad Cars Series Number 4 from Greenlight. Um, one of my favorite series from Greenlight, although I've said that many times before. I just really enjoy Greenlight models and I'm trying to collect one of everything, which I know is insane. Um, but this is a very cool series. Obviously you can see it replicates the art from either posters, brochures, whatever. Um, and those are the models from the those ads, vintage ad cars. <laughs> uh, but nonetheless, we will take a look at these cars in a moment. I already pre-cut them, so it's easier. You don't have to listen to me scrambling trying to open these cars. We will get right into it with the first one, which is actually a car that I already have. That I just recently filmed, so we don't need to open that. But nonetheless, we can look at the packaging. My GMC diesels are growing in more and more farms. So that's pretty cool. It's an 84 GMC CR 2500. All the cars in the series. There's the ads. So you can actually cut that out if you really wanted to and put them all together. Um, but here's the model. So take a look at this here. Uh, Diesel 2500, I just showed this recently in a video. It is a fantastic casting, long bed, two door, white top, uh, separate piece grill with painted in uh, details there, chrome bumper, um, white with silver chromish painted hubcaps. Um, I like that this thing's a diesel, I'm a big diesel fan. Uh, no opening hood, but separate piece hood for different toolings. Um, 4971 is the number there. And if you care, uh, what's the number on this one? 464 is the number on that one. Um, not sure what I'm going to do with that, but nonetheless, there was the first one. Excellent car in that series. Um, next, something a little bit more plain is a 79 Ford LTD in like a maroon. Pretty cool card art there. Yeah, I should cut all these out. Take a look at them. Let's open this one up here. Such a mundane, basic car, but still a very cool casting. Let's check this out. A little bit of a wobbly wheel. Can't really tell which one it is, but nonetheless. Um, so you do have this whole front section is a separate piece. I like that they do that um, because then they could add different years and all that kind of stuff. You know that. Uh, painted details on the front there with chrome bumper. Nice silver trim on the side with the white walls. A um, little bit dirty glass. There. You do have inserted details on the back. Tail lights look good. It's a nice clean looking model for sure. Um, 4054 is the number there. So there's that one. Um, I am about to get in contact with somebody and this does not mean things are going to change, but I hope. Um, not that Greenlight's quality control is necessarily bad. It just leaves room for a little bit of improvement. Um, you know, every brand has its own flaws and its own things and little quirks. And every brand can expand. Uh, I'm not saying that Greenlight's a bad brand, because I don't want Greenlight thinking that, uh, you know, I don't like their brand and all their products, because I buy a ton of products from them. But they have had a couple of quality control issues that I've noticed that people are talking about. And I've talked about this before, like dirty glass and tires not on completely right or parts falling off and they're just not quite right. So I'm trying to get in contact with somebody, seeing if there can be possible improvements with that. Um, and, and nothing guaranteed, but who knows, maybe, maybe. Uh, Ford introduces the trickiest trucks in town. I love this. Super, super 70s. I love these wheels too. This is probably one of my favorites, like, 
like uh, older truck casting from Greenlight. A little bit of a wonky wheel. Just the tire's not quite on there 100%. Yeah. Yeah. Something I could fiddle with. I'm sure I could fix that too. Yeah, just the tires aren't sitting quite right. Not a big deal. Um, you do have an inserted grill piece that you can see here. There's a line there. Of course, you can get different years. Um, hood does not open. Nice black bumper. I like that they chose the black bumper. It really has a nice break there, but it looks good. I think their grills and, and the paint details gotten a lot better. I think that QC has gotten better. I think the QC has gotten better on the windshields, but there are a couple where I've noticed that they're a little uh, iffy. These wheels look incredible. Man, I love these wheels. Oh man, those look good. Firestone tires, classic 70s striping. Ford in black, which I like. Yeah, a little bit, a little bit slanted F there, not a big deal. Uh, painted details in the back with the black bumpers again, which I like. I like that, that's a good choice. Solid looking truck. Love it. Uh, 5181 is the number there. Move that one up the side. Next, we will look at um, a very desirable, well, not quite desirable, because um, green lights, square bodies are not that crazy priced, but uh, um, I don't know what to call it. You know what I mean. Um, everybody's making square bodies. Here's an 81 K5 Blazer. They've made tons of these. And they're fantastic. So yet to add another one to the collection. I'm very happy to add it. The big shift for 81. Let's see. I think this thing just sits on the back, right? Yeah. Yeah, so oily paint. As you can tell there. So I'll wipe this real quick. Don't spend too much time on it. I do wax my cars. I know that sounds strange. Yeah, just give it a quick wipe and it's already so much better. I use like um, Meguiar's spray wax. I actually spray the cars and it gets away all that crap that's on there um, from the factory and it looks incredible. I know it sounds strange, but... So, is this one of those? Because I know... Hmm. I know back in the day they had a couple of hitches where you can actually pull this thing out, but you can't pull this one out because it's black on the bottom. I thought you could. Um, chrome bumper, nice silver trim. Chevy looks good on the back, very clean. Good job there. This just kind of sits on top. They actually did modify it. So it's got these little notches now. So I wonder if all of them later on are gonna have that? So it doesn't just kind of slide off. It kind of sits on there a little bit, right? Insert a grill piece again so you can have the different years. That looks incredible. Nice silver striping on the side. Blazer. Looks great with the wheels. I kind of wish that it had um, tire decals on it. Does it in the picture? No, it doesn't. So it's actually accurate. Okay, that's accurate. Not a big deal. Little logo there. It would be nice to see like Firestone or BF Goodrich tire logos on it. But it is accurate to the picture. So I get why they did that. And that's a cool looking truck nonetheless. 7219 there. That's a number. A couple more to look at. Um, we have, I'll save the best for last, at least my favorite in my opinion. Um, the 71 Dodge Charger Super B, the run of the mills, it's hard to read sideways, the run of the mills is anything but the run of the mill, Dodge, pretty cool, I think this is kind of an underrated casting, um, I like this casting, it's old tooling, let's see here, what's the tooling number, GL20, 3057 is the number there, uh, pretty good roller, I think. 
Yeah, this tire's just a little bit off. I'll fix that later. This one's very cool. So you have a separate piece, little hood piece there. Um, super B. Okay, let me see if I can get this. Hood open for you. And this one's pretty good engine detail. I'm determined to get this hood open. Hold up, give me a second. Can't not look at the engine. All right. Um, pretty plain. I'm not gonna lie, but still happy to have that. Wow, that just snaps nice shut. So there's a lot of detail going on here. Chrome wheels. Those are good to your tires. Nice tread. Nice black striping along there, matte black. The matte black roof, oh, gloss white roof, sorry. I don't know why I said black. Um, with the painted back, uh, like, um, I guess these are, would be, I don't know how it is in real life, but it's all painted here. Um, with the silver in the middle. Great detail there. I just love the way this one looks. Little Super B logo there. Black grill. Solid looking model. Even the way it sits and how low it sits. With the white interior and everything. That's a fantastic looking model. I love this casting. I think it's an underappreciated um, casting from Greenlight for sure. Maybe I'm wrong, but the one that I think, other than the Blazer, most people are going to be excited for is this 1980 Mustang Fox Body, introducing a sports car for the 80s Ford Mustang in white. Very, very popular casting from uh, Greenlight. This is um, the newer tooling. Oh, that's a good roller. Um, but the early, early, early green light Mustangs are very difficult to find. Um, very popular, very expensive. Um, there's the motor. Pretty good detail. Shot's nice. So this is an early Mustang. Great detail on the front there. Nice looking grill. Little Ford logo, I like that. Nice orange striping, the three spoke wheels. Inserted pieces, inserted but painted pieces for the rear. The black gloss there. Now you can't really see it, but it does say Mustang. That's a solid model. Very small. These uh, these Fox bodies are tiny cars in real life. They're not big. And that is it, guys. So I'm curious to know which one's your favorite from the series. I, it's tough because that that Charger looks really good, but so does that Mustang. But that's it for today, guys. And stay tuned for more.